Now I'm going to take some, some basic moves, show you how to do it yourself, and then I'm going to do it with you. Okay? So let's do a, a fascial torque. Here, um, you're going to take your hands like this, put your thumbs downwards on your kneecaps. Okay, you're going to rotate the skin inwards. So, yeah, put your, and squat. And hold it. And then breathe. Feel that? Squeeze your sacrum, squeeze your sex organs, pull on your, your spine. Turn your head right and left, slowly. See that changes it? Mm -hmm. So, we have to move everything. Awesome. Wow, it's amazing I actually feel that strongly through here. Okay, so basically we're a bag. Mm -hmm. And that bag wraps, if I, if I do something here, it has to resolve somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So think of the human body like this. This and this match. This and this match. This and this match. This and this match. And they're, they don't only match in function and in form and kind of look alike, they also match in pressure. So when I'm moving though, this is very relative. These pressure centers are relative. So if I have a hip issue here, shoulder issue here, knee, elbow, ankle, wrist. Mm -hmm. So with, with like Olympic runners, if they have an ankle problem, we fix this wrist. Okay. So, and so there's nothing in biomechanics that explains that. So we use the, we can go to functional neurology, but functional neurology, the brain is just coordinating the action of the fascia. So it makes sense that the brain would know about it and you could see it in the brain, but really it's pressure. Mm -hmm. So we move like what you were experiencing earlier, I move something in here and the pressure changes. Mm -hmm. Things move through the body. Mm -hmm.